What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Playoffs, Sunday, May 23rd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs. We have a four game slate today. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Derrick Rose from the New York Knicks playing the Atlanta Hawks who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Derrick Rose has averaged 26.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He scored 15 and 19 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 23 and 25 minutes. He's projected at 28.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. And he's 5,900 FanDuel salary. And he's 400 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 215.5 points scored in this game. And I like this pick because Derrick Rose has scored 30, 20, 22, and 45 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Hawks. It's a good matchup, so I like Derrick Rose here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, another point guard that I like is Chris Paul from the Phoenix Suns playing the LA Lakers, who have a good defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Chris Paul has averaged 37.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 38 and 36 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 24 and 32 minutes. He's projected at 37.7 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 7,900 FanDuel salary and he's 400 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 213.5 points scored in this game. And I like this pick because Chris Paul scored 43 and 53 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Lakers. So I like Chris Paul here versus the LA Lakers. Another point guard that I like that's got 50 plus fantasy point upside. I think his price is pretty reasonable. I like Trey Young from the Atlanta Hawks playing the New York Knicks. Trey Young has averaged 43.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 33% usage rate. He's projected at 40.8 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 45 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 8,700 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. I like this pick because Trey Young has scored 54, 38, 49, 55, and 68 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Knicks. So I like Trey Young here versus the New York Knicks. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest you can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video, give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. 
I like Alec Burks from the New York Knicks playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing shooting guards. Alec Burks has averaged 23.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 25, 31, and 46 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 25, 30, and 34 minutes. He's projected at 25.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. He's 5,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 700 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. So I like Alec Burks here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Now I'm going to give you a value play. I like Torrey Craig from the Phoenix Suns playing the LA Lakers who have a good defense overall. They've been middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. And Torrey Craig has scored 30, 29, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 18, and 15 minutes. Now he's only projected at 16 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 20 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 3,900 FanDuel salary, and he's 700 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 213.5 points scored in this game. So I like Torrey Craig as a high risk, high reward play here versus the LA Lakers. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like DeAndre Hunter, another value play from the Atlanta Hawks playing the New York Knicks who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing small forwards, but DeAndre Hunter has averaged 26.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 19 and 15 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 24 and 15 minutes. I'm expecting him to play over 25 minutes here tonight, and Vegas, I'm sorry, uh, he's projected at 21.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. I think he scores 25 fantasy points or more and gets you over five times value. I really like this value play. A lot less risky than the others. So I like DeAndre Hunter here versus the New York Knicks. Oh, also, DeAndre Hunter has scored 37, 23, and 46 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Knicks, so that's good player versus team history. Okay, another small forward that I like is Bojan Bogdanovic from the Utah Jazz playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who have the 13th worst defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Bojan Bogdanovic has averaged 24.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 27, 31, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 26, and 33 minutes. He's projected at 25.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 30 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more He's 5,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 900 more on DraftKings. So I like that FanDuel price. Now I like this pick because he scored 40 fantasy points in his last game versus the Grizzlies. Vegas thinks there's going to be 216 points scored in this game. So I like Bojan Bogdanovic here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? I'm gonna give you a stud pick here. I like Julius Randle from the New York Knicks 
playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall and their middle-of-the-pack defending opposing power forwards. Julius Randle has averaged 45.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 38 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He scored 41, 64, and 49 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 46, and 44 minutes. So he's playing monster minutes. He's projected at 48 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 50 fantasy points or more and get you over five times value. He's 9,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 600 less on DraftKings. He scored 61, 59, 58, 54, and 61 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Hawks. So he's got amazing player versus team history. So I like Julius Randle here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, another power forward that I like. I like Daniel Gafford from the Washington Wizards playing the Philadelphia 76ers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards. But Daniel Gafford, he scored 47, 25, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 22, 20, and 16 minutes. Now he's projected at 21.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 26 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 5,300 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,100 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 228.5 points scored in this game. So I like Daniel Gafford here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Clint Capella from the Atlanta Hawks playing the New York Knicks, who have a good defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Clint Capella has averaged 40 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 36 and 34 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 26 and 27 minutes. So I think he's going to get 30 minutes or more here, and he's projected at 40 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. Now, I think he can score over 40 fantasy points and get you over five times value. He's 8,300 FanDuel salary, and he's 800 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. I like this pick because he scored 62 and 45 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Knicks. So I like Clint Capella here versus the New York Knicks. Another center that I like is Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who have the 13th worst defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing centers. Rudy Gobert has averaged 40.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's been super consistent this season, and he scored 40, 47, and 46 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 27, 26, and 34 minutes. So I think he's set up for a monster game here tonight. He's projected at 40.1 fantasy points. That's five times value. He's 8,000 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 less on DraftKings. He scored 35, 40, 43, 55, and 39 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Grizzlies. So I like Rudy Gobert here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.